Hello everybody. Today we'll talk about the Spark SQL optimization. Under that, we'll, we'll try to understand logical and physical plan. So let's go to next slide. So before we understand the logical and physical plan, so we'll talk about some of the rules which are very important to create a logical plan. So first rule, we'll talk about the filter push down. So before we understand the filter push down, we have highlighted one query. So under this query, what we are doing, we are selecting a custom ID, name and email from a customer table. And the condition here is that for a specific city. In USA, we have one city LA. From that LA city, we want to find out the customer ID, name and email. So this is the highlighted query. If you see, this is our highlighted query. So for this example, we have created a subquery. So basically, we need an email. So basically, the idea here is that to find out the email, of a particular city that is our goal so how this query will work right how we will make sure that we are storing minimum required data in a memory so spark can process that fast so if you see left hand side we are talking about the customer table customer table have the, all the records and then from the customer table these are the field we are looking these are the attributes we are going to get and our criteria is that the particular city we are not looking for all the city. We are just looking at city LA. For, for that, we are looking custom ID, name and email. But final outcome, we just need an email. So what is our final outcome? Email. We just need an email for particular city. So, and we want to use that email for the marketing. So customer 360 will have all the customer information. So what is the filter push down, a predicate push down? So predicate push down tells us about if you have the filter condition, let's push that. So what, what the advantage, what will happen that you need to select only required records. You don't need to select all the record from the customer table. If I'm talking about the customer 360, which have all the customer attributes, I have to select only those customers who are belonging to the city LA. So that way we are going to reduce the count of record. And that is going to help the memo, uh, spark because less number of record will be there. So this is your filter push down or predicate push down. Second rule we'll talk about here is the combined projects and attribute selection. So basically what is the idea here is that, so if you see, we are talking this middle part, but we are saying that we have put a filter down. We are selecting only a customer who are belonging to city LA. That is clear. Now we have two projects in here. You see one of the projects in the sub query, if you see this sub query part, we are talking about to select a customer ID, name and email, but we really need an email. So what we are saying that then we have to combine these projection. So that means what we need, we need an email ID or column running. So basically we need a required email ID. So what will happen if you see finally, so basically I have, let's say for example, one, one million of customer records are there. Out of that, once I put a filter LA, let's say 50,000 records are coming, which are really needed. Out of 50,000 records, I don't need all the field. I just need an email. So drastically reduce on the data set. So these are the rules we are talking about, which we'll use in the logical optimization. Let's understand one more example. So I have two tables here. This is the example we are taking for the joining condition. Let's say I have table employee and other is the department. Employee have the employee records, unique records are there. Department have different departments. They are aligned with the employees. So what we are saying that a table one employee, table two is the department table. If you put the logically, so what will happen if we don't go with the rules, then we have to scan whole table A, table two, both table we have to scan, which is not really needed in this case right so what we will do filter push down what we'll say we just needed a department uh, it where the it department is there this is the just we need a record and we need a these ids right and then table one will have id so what will have table uh, table one employee id equal to department id based on that condition and for particular department it we are going to select the email id so it's drastically it is going to reduce the records and it will give you the email id so that is that is the advantage of applying it a filter push down and uh, a field attribute selection so let, let's understand logical and physical plan what is the logical and physical plan if you see left hand side we are submitting a sql query or maybe a data frame or data set we are sending that to the spark so what initially what happened it will create a unresolved logical plan 
it will not able to identify what is the table we are talking about what are the columns so it will say these are unknown or unresolved tables right so that is the first plan logical plan then it goes to next next phase so next phase what happens there is a catalog a schema catalog so spark how it works we have the high meta store so all the information will be there okay it will see or the, uh, the user has submitted a query that query talks about the customer and department uh, whether those table are exist or not analyzer will look that on the high meta store and it will say okay guys these are the two tables i am able to identify and these are the columns we are talking all i am able to identify so it will send to the next phase which is your or stage where it will say i got the these table and column these are my resolve logical plan if it is not able to resolve those table it still it will be blank and resolve logical plan so once it get a resolve those tables and column then it will pass to the next stage so let's say for example i have next stage is a catalyst right so catalyst what it will do if in the previous example what we have seen that we know we have to join two tables right and then uh, internal different rules we are going to apply a rule maybe uh, for example we have the predicate push down filter push down that is the one rule or maybe we have to uh, apply the attribute filtering so those kind of rule we are going to apply on the using the catalyst once we apply those rules then what will happen my logical plan this left hand side will convert this kind of logical plan but keep in mind if you are talking about a purely on logical from from this point to this point what we are saying that we care about the output of the attribute what kind of attribute we are looking for what kind of conditions we have to apply or what kind of computation we have to do it will talk about what how part is not a responsibility of the logical plan right so once this optimized logical plan gets generated using the different rules then what will happen it will transform that tree it will transform that tree into a different physical plan so let's say for example i have plan one plan two plan three what is these plans right so basically we talked about what part is taken care by the uh, logical plan how part is taken care by the physical plan so plan one talks about let's say short merge join plan two to plan three talks about the broadcast join right so which plan we have to select so for that what we will do we'll do a cost analysis so basically what will happen cost model will look guys how many rows in table customer table have right how many uh, records basically in the department tables have all these kind of statics it will collect it will see the number of rows how many rows are there how many null values are there how many maximum records are there minimum records are distinct based on the distincts all these statics it will collect let's say for example table a has the less data and table b have the large data set maybe a billions of record so what it will do in that case it will decide okay maybe broadcast join is the best 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 option right if table and table b are bigger than it will say okay maybe the plan b short merge join may be the better option so what it will do basically the physical plan it will say how to conduct the competitions and physical plan is executable so it will select let's say for example i have a small table a table b is large it will say broadcast sign which is plan number 3 it will select a plan number 3 and then once you get a selected the plan number 3 then what it will do it will create a small rdd this will be rdd and then distributed data it will put push into the executors then respect to executor are going to perform the operation so this is the way how logical and physical plan are going to work so i hope you understand the logical plan logical plan talks about the what part and the physical plan talks about the how part right and unresolved is just something we are not able to resolve we don't know what is the table structure table name and column name once we do that through the analyzer and analyzer will talk about the high meta store it will bring all the uh, table information it will resolve those table it got resolved then what will be will apply rules number of rules uh, internal rules are going to apply on those uh, uh, data set will make sure that we are going to uh, store uh, use minimum data set for the memory so that's where spark uh, will perform fast right all these things will resolve in the optimized logical plan then we'll have to transform that into the physical plan we'll select a right physical plan and then we are going to execute that physical plan in the low level i hope this help you understand the logical plan and physical plan thank you for watching this video